He holds a contrarian view on gold. He's Bert Doman. He's of Doman Capital Holdings and a speaker here at Freedom Fest. Bert, thanks so much for being with us. Very nice to be with you, Daniela. So let's get your thoughts on the yellow metal these days. Uh, Bert, obviously this room is uh, full of gold bulls. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Well, uh, obviously, you know, I never like to be in a majority, and uh, you know, it seemed like everybody and their dog were uh, heavily invested in gold over the last two years, including some of the big hedge funds. Mm -hmm. And when everybody's in, uh, the only way a price can go is down because eventually the selling will start and that's what we saw. Gold and gold mining stocks are now in bear markets. Mining stocks are going to be disastrous for many people uh, at these prices because they, they can't make money at these prices. So I'm bearish on a sector. So, But what's your bearish case for gold? The, the bearish case, uh, you know, I have to uh, identify the time frame. Uh, I think gold is going to be a very difficult investment for the next several years. Eventually, you will have another uh, bull market in gold. Uh, but uh, I, I can't uh, say that now. Nobody can predict what's going to happen in two years or five years from now. So I like to take it one step at a time in the markets. I, I, I always go into the market and say, what should I do tomorrow morning in the markets? Right. And right now, tomorrow, tomorrow morning, I would not even look at gold. But, but why would you say, what are the factors that are driving gold down in your point of view? The most important factor is that you're, you're fighting. And uh, one noted gold analyst who's a, a big bull on gold, he said uh, recently, uh, this is war. Well, I don't want to be at war when I have an investment. I don't want to be at war with the central banks and with the major governments of the world that really cannot afford to have people think that gold is a better investment than all the paper confetti that they're printing. Okay, so if gold, once again, has a strong up move, they're going to do everything possible to prevent it from going up and they can they make the rules and what eventually will, will happen is that if they see that they cannot discourage people from going into gold they're going to raise the tax rates tremendously and uh, that is what, what will kill you if you've been in, in a gold investment at for 15 years let's say you have a big profit in it and suddenly overnight they double the tax rate on it and suddenly it's instead of 28 percent for long-term capital gains it's 60 percent you're okay. dead so you don't like gold as an investment so in times of uncertainty where do you place your money uh, depends if you're in an up market or in the down market. And we define uh, these markets using technical analysis. If you're in a bull market, uh, like you know, right now we we have certain sectors that we really like, as at least for the next four to six weeks. After that, you want to be short. So, what are the sectors you're liking? Right now, uh, at least until the middle of August, we still like home builders. Uh, we like the biotech area, and we like energy. So, do you own no gold? No gold. No gold. Have you ever owned gold? Oh, yes. Yes. I was a staunch bull in gold in the late 1970s. When gold uh, dropped uh, through 694, we started selling it short all the way down to $390 at first. We made a lot of money on the short side. You have to go with the trends. And in 1981, we wrote this in a Wellington letter, which we published. It's now in its 36th year. We said gold is going into a 20-year bear market. And it was exactly 20 years. And 2001 was the bottom. So uh, we identified the 20-year bear market market, which was considered ridiculous at the time, and we said uh, it will be followed by a 30-year bull market. So, Bert, where do you see gold headed? What's the trading range you're looking at this Over year? What time period? By this the end year? of year, yeah. Uh, gold is going to go lower. Uh, I would say there's some support in the $900 area. $900 area. Bert Doman, thank you so much for your thoughts today. Thank you very much. And thanks for watching our coverage here on Kitco News. Email us at newsfeedback at kitco.com or follow me on Twitter at Daniela Camboni. Thanks for watching our coverage here from Las Vegas.